You can't come all the way to Texas and not have steak, can you? So today, we're gonna eat the biggest steak Texas has to offer. I'm gonna try at least. So we're going to a place called Plantersville today, which is pretty much in the arse end of nowhere. But that does mean that the drive's going to be quite scenic. There's a nice lake over there to the right. You see that? This dude's been dangling his foot out the car for like a mile now. I don't think I'd risk losing the foot for a stiff breeze through my toes. All right, here we are. Texas Relay Station. Home to the biggest steak in Texas, apparently. 86 ounces. This is another one that looks a bit like it could be the scene of some horrific occult massacre. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt though. Golden rule, if it looks shabby from the outside, the food's probably scrumptious. Hey, maybe I could get a job here. Never have to go home. Or you can eat catfish, sounds delicious. Hi, can I do your, uh, the big steak challenge thing? Solid beard on this fella, look at that. Tash could use a, a little bit of extra length, I think, but the beard has it's good volume. Look at it. So this is an authentic steakhouse. <laughs> love it. I love the uh, the giant fork and spoon. I think that's literally the size of the table. Though. Yeah, that's too big even for me, I think. Couldn't fit that in my mouth. Or anywhere else for that matter. Got to get a suitably ludicrous thumbnail so people watch the video. <laughs> Now a lot of the steak purists out there are going to be upset with me because I got it well done Which normally I never would if I want to enjoy steak I would get it medium rare but I've done a lot of eating on this trip and Nuking it means there'll be less chewing there'll be less sinew and stuff like that So it'll make it a little easier harder on the jaw, but easier to get down. I think These are actually they're pretty weighty, you know They're real, real metal. I thought they were gonna be you know Maybe plastic with a bit of tinfoil on them. But they are metallic. You could do some damage with one of these. The upholstery's seen better days. I imagine lots of people have sat on this chair. There's no wall of fame though, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about a dead animal carcass on the wall above me while I'm eating. That's a new one. Cold water or warm water? Just regular, regular, okay. regular water. You would be surprised, like a lot of people come in and ask for warm water. Oh, the people want to take it super seriously, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, we're not about that here. Just any kind of water. Okay. As long as it's not ditch water. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot, it's a large steak. It is a lot of steak. It doesn't actually look that big from this angle, but I think that's because the chair's flipping massive. <laughs> I'll put that down there. All right, so today I'm at a place called Relay Station, which is in Texas, and I'm taking on the 85 ounce sirloin steak challenge, which comes with a salad, a bread roll, and uh, a jacket potato, or baked potato, I guess you call it. Do you have to eat the oranges, or? No, they're just there for uh, decoration. You get 75 minutes to finish. Yes. And if you finish, what do you get? It's free. It's free, as implied by the artwork behind me. Napkins. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, you, do you want to start the timer thingy? Let's go, it's 12.37 right now. Okay. Do people usually get it well done or no? No, usually medium-ish. Yeah, medium makes sense. What's up, Abby? Welcome back to another episode. It's about time I got around to uh, scoffing some steak out here, albeit a well done steak, making it highly reminiscent of one of my mum's ruthlessly dehydrated roast beef dinners. <laughs> but to all the snooty steak snobs out there, save your fingers. There was some logic to my madness. Specious logic, I admit, but uh, logic nonetheless. I thought if I got it well done, it might be less enjoyable, but um, it would save me the trouble of gnawing through all the, you know, gristle and sinew and all that stuff that comes with a medium rare steak. Right, that's about halfway through the steak, I think. Forget the salad and the potato or the bread. The steak is about halfway done. And tactically, I thought it'd be a good idea to just eat as much of the steak as I could stomach before putting on some uh, A1 sauce to uh, spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. <sighs> Cutting it up is the hardest part. <sighs> that is a mature bottle of sauce. 
Ooh, it's almost sour. Yeah, I get the feeling that thing had been on the shelf a while. Still, it'll do the job. I'll eat everything. There's some guys in trucker hats over there. I need to impress them, right? I'm in Texas. I need to eat everything. Oh, <laughs> well, there. St steady kid. That kind of fun puck, you might end up with you under the floorboards. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of cutting in this one. Which, actually, now I think about it, it's, it's kind of darkly poetic being in the land of that chainsaw massacre that spawned way too many sequels. <laughs> I'm gonna have a blister on my finger in the morning. I wonder if they got any cheesy sauce. A little bit of cheesy sauce on this would be nice. I don't know what the American terminology is for cheesy sauce. But <laughs> see if I can get some. I, I think you're overthinking it, lad. I, I think it's just plain old cheese sauce. Asking for cheesy sauce is just gonna make you sound weird. You know, despite the fact that it's well done, it does still taste good. In the middle, it's, it's not that great because it's well done. But the best parts of the steak for me are the outer bits anyway. Do you have any kind of um, cheesy sauce or creamy sauce? I know that sounds like a weird question. Anything that's like cheesy or creamy, any kind of sauce which is like, you know. The only thing that would be like kind of creamy would be gravy. <coughs> what kind of gravy is it? Cream gravy and brown gravy. Could I have some cream gravy? Yeah. You want both? Or is it just, just the cream, the creamy one, yeah. Ah, what a weird interaction. Oh, thank you very much. Can I also get um, a Diet Coke or, yeah, thank you. Ice or no ice? No ice, thank you. I don't think it's traditional to have um, that kind of creamy deep south gravy with steak, but I reckon it's gonna taste good. Yeah. I think the, uh, the culture might be rubbing off on me. I just turned into the Kool-Aid man for a second. Oh yeah! Thank you very much. You're now we're cooking on gas. I should have got that at the start. Yeah, hindsight and all that. Of course, I'll do a goofy thumbs up for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have much else in my limited collection of go-to poses. Goofy thumbs up is a classic though. That, that served me well over the years. <laughs> anyway, this thing costs 70 bucks, which seems to be quite reasonable. But if you can sink it all inside 75 minutes, including the potato, the rolled salad, it's on the house. Should have got this gravy from the start. It's a game changer. I wonder what the closest thing we have to that in England actually is. It's not gravy. It's like a... Uh, I don't know, kind of like a... I don't, I, I, I'm lost for words, I don't know what it is. I think going well done was a mistake, because, um, mistake. <laughs> Although it does spare your jaw a bit, it kind of takes away from the enjoyment a little. Yeah, all right, let's, let's not dwell on past foibles. You've made your bed, and we're pretty much done with the steak now anyway. Still, as far as well done steaks go, this is, this is probably the best one I've had. I don't have them often, but um, it's enjoyable despite being well done. These end pieces are great. Yeah, the char was uh, char was solid. Compliments to the grill master. We're not done yet though. Yeah, still the uh, the bread roll, the baked potato, and the salad to go. The the orange segments aren't included. I I've never seen that before. Orange and steak. I wonder if the salad's kind of like a joke, you know, because you've eaten so much meat, 85 ounces of meat, that you're probably going to need some heavy fibre to move it out in the morning. I guess that's why they include it, for the safety of their patrons. <laughs> I'm going to have to use many napkins today. Ooh, we've got some more guests. I think I might just put this up and eat it with my hands. I don't think anyone is, uh, is particularly surprised by that revelation. The baked potato was good though, I have to say. Sour cream, the cheese, a little bacon bits on top. Uh, at this point, that, that made a, a welcome change from deceased cow flesh. That's probably not the best way to put it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, it was a change up. 
I think I should have done the salad at the start. How are you feeling? I feel alright, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Getting the steak well done was a. That was probably a bad move. There's all kinds of stuff in here peppers, lettuce, cucumbers, broccoli. No mushrooms though. Is that cool? Yeah. What do they call that out here? The zucchini. The, the waitress has checked out, mate. She's, uh, she's sick of your rhetorical questions and demands for creamy dressings, cheesy dressings. <laughs> But uh, I am correct, it is called, uh, a courgette is called zucchini here. Want butter? Yes, I would love some butter, thank you. That's <laughs> something really sarcastic. <laughs> Wait, let's make a salad sandwich. <sighs> yeah, doesn't that just sound mouth-watering? Who doesn't love a salad sandwich? I thought it was a little weird that they had, um, Broccoli, like raw broccoli and, and peppers in with the salad, but who am I to say? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you at the next one. Just making sure. Oh, there's a little bit of potato there. Okay. All good. Is that okay? I think I'm gonna need to see the dessert menu. Do you have one? We have blackberry cobbler and peach cobbler. Which is which? Do you think is the best? I have the blackberry. Can I get some blackberry cobbler then, please? Tomorrow's gonna be green tea only. If I'm not mistaken, cobbler is the American term for crumble. I think. Ooh, this looks nice. Um, looks more like a trifle to me. Gotta love the garnish on there. They went to some effort here. Hi. Who looks like Bill Gates? Maybe that is Bill Gates.